Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Okay, first of all, I like to welcome all of you to uh, this semester course uh, electromagnetic field theory uh, code as KEE two five two three. So in our first meeting today, I would like to straight away talk about the overview of this particular subject. All of you have been given the course information uh, and you can download it from the e-learning website. So from the course synopsis, we can state that the course presents several major collective understanding and theories within the area of electrostatic, magnetostatic, and electromagnetic fields. So I'd like to introduce you the main differences between these three type of fields. Okay? So from what we know that what is electromagnetic? So that's the first thing we need to ask ourselves, what is electromagnetic fields? Okay, from easy way of interpreting it, electromagnetic fields actually fields that consist of electric fields and magnetic field simultaneously. Okay, so you can see the word N here indicate that in electromagnetic field actually it consists of two fields which are electric field and magnetic field. And usually we denote electric field with the symbol E. Since it's a vector, we're going to put a arrow on top of it. And for magnetic field, we're going to label it with a symbol H. So E stands for electric field intensity and H stands for magnetic field intensity. And from our experience or from what we can observe, electric field depending on position as well as time. Therefore, in terms of mathematics, we're going to represent in terms of position as Cartesian, X, Y, and Z, and also affected by time. So we can say that in electromagnetic field, the field being affected by position as well as time. Similarly, for magnetic field, we have to label it to be function of position as well as time. And we can see it's quite cumbersome because so many parameters involved in this particular field need to be considered in every time you want to solve the problem. So, and at the same, the, and the second point that we must all know that both fields exist simultaneously, okay? So that make it much, much more difficult to, to study. So example-wise, okay, if we refer to Faraday's law, okay, let's say in point form. Okay, so we're going to see that the curl of E equal to minus mu the dh over dt so that's what we meant by the e and the h actually exists at the same time so again electromagnetic field is the field that we're going to assume to be contain electric field and magnetic field at each particular situation the second point that we have to define that it depending on position as well as time so therefore, what we can conclude for us to study this type of field straight away in the early part of the course going to be challenging, as what been mentioned earlier. So what been done in order to simplify the process of learning EMT in UTM course is for us not to straight away talk about electromagnetic field. We're going to make it simple by mentioning each field at each stages 
what we mean by that so first of all we're going to introduce not electromagnetic we're going to introduce electric field so electrostatic so that's why we can see from what we mentioned earlier in our course outline you've referred to the course outline there's a word electrostatic there so you can see the reason why we want to simplify the learning process rather than we talk about electromagnetic we learn something simpler which is electrostatic so what we mean by that when we talk about electrostatic it only consists electric field only okay no more magnetic field so Therefore, we are reducing the complexity of learning process. So that the first condition that we are going to make, only consider one field. And the second point, how we make it simple, the E field is independent of time. So meaning that no more time variable involved in the discussion. So therefore, what we can conclude, the E field here, only function of x, y, z, no t. So therefore, what we are doing now, we are simplifying the learning process. Okay, so that's why we still talking about electrostatic in the syllabus rather than we discuss about electromagnetic uh, as mentioned by the title of the course. After we completing, so based on the course outline, we're going to talk about electrostatic field from week number two up to week number, I think if you refer to the course line, it's going to be number seven. Okay, week, sorry, week number six. So that should be the weeks involved discussing about electrostatic. After completing the electrostatic field, Discussion. We're going to continue with only focusing on the magnetic field now. So therefore, we're going to focus on magnetostatic field. So the learning process similar as electrostatic, but here we're only going to discuss magnetic field only. No more electric field. So therefore, only one parameter or one field been considered and also is going to have the second characteristic which is independent of time therefore the way we're going to define the h now is a function of position only x y and z if we are utilizing the cartesian coordinate so this magnetostatic is going to be covered within week number seven until week number 11 okay so then how we link this Two fields compound, two fields that we discussed earlier, which are electrostatic and magnetostatic, to the electromagnetic field that should be the title of the syllabus. So we need to link them together. So this being able, this can be done by what mentioned by the course outline, which is mentioned the course outline number two. If you refer to course outline number two, I'm going to show to you the the, the brief description here. Course online number, course le sorry, course learning number two, I think. Ah, okay, here. Okay, if you look into the course learning outcome number two, okay, apply Maxwell equation to explain the transformation field from static to time variant. So now what we can see from static. We go to the time varying. How are we going to do that? By utilizing Maxwell equations. Okay, so that's how we're going to be able to link all those three major type of field in this particular syllabus by utilizing Maxwell. So, in, so as a conclusion here, the In order to ensure us to understand about electromagnetic field clearly, we must be able to actually understand electrostatic first. Okay, so if we 
cannot understand electrostatic clearly, we're going to have quite a big problem later on when we discuss about electromagnetic field. And we know that electromagnetic field is something that very common that appear around us, which is a practical thing that we need to know because we have to solve a lot of problems regarding electromagnetic in the field of electrical engineering. But yet, to learn straight away about electromagnetic field is going to be a challenging process. So how we uh, want to reduce that uh, approach by making it simpler, by learning about all those Maxwell equations based on simpler field, which are electrostatic field and also magnetostatic field. So that should be the overview of our uh, EMT subject for U3M course. Okay, thank you.